Is it a melt? Is it a grilled cheese? Oof. Is it a grilled cheese? Is it a melt? So many would say, as soon as you add something else besides cheese, butter, bread, it becomes a melt, you huh. know? And, and today, Quarry Arctic smoke salmon going into our grilled cheese. Cause I call it a grilled cheese still. I still think it's a salmon grilled cheese. Uh, I just don't like the term melt. You know what I mean? I know we're melting things. I got nothing against the actual word itself, but to call it a melt just takes away from the joy of calling it a grilled cheese. If that makes any sense, let's get into the action. Super easy, right? Butter. A little bit of butter. Yeah, a little, 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 lot of, little, lot of bit of butter. Uh, nice bread and it could be a little crunchy you know what i mean this is kind of soft but i don't mind it to be uh crunchy it's going to get heated up it's going to pick up a lot of uh a lot of that butter uh cheddar i got extra sharp cheddar and munzer cheese and people always forget people always forget salt and pepper you season that cheese after you shred it. And Nathan, I know you know this because I got that trick from you. <laughs> so uh, it is, it is, it just elevates the whole entire deal. And then don't forget, we're gonna put the salmon in there. So first things first, uh, let's start shredding our cheese. And I find that the stretchability uh, or the, the cheesiness that we want to see is so much nicer when you shred your own cheese. So you can buy the, the pre-shredded stuff, but it's so oxidized. Each one of those little strannules, that's not that's a really a word. That's a word. One of these strannules, it's like a granule, but it's a strand, so yeah. it's a strannule, uh, has been oxidized and it's lost its its moisture content around all sides in that little bag that comes in. So if you want that super stretch look, uh, go for shredding your own cheese. It's gonna make a better grilled cheese and or slash melt. Let's slice our bread. And I'm gonna go to slight bias so I can get a little more surface area. Look at that big old hole, that's not gonna work out for us. So I'm gonna have to, I'm gonna have to sneak a little bit further down. Um, but sometimes day old bread or crusty bread does work better for grilled cheeses or melts. Um, this is really nice and use, use whatever you've got, you know what I mean? It's a great way to use bread that you've got laying around that you're not gonna turn into croutons. We could butter these, but I think we just go straight onto the cast iron griddle. I'm sitting at 450 degrees right now. So a little bit of butter. All right, let's just do it. Yeah. Let it drink it up and push it aside. Drink it up, whoa, 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 whoa. Take it easy, butter. Take it easy, butter. Mm -hmm. Go ahead and draw that over here. And if we close this dome a little bit, we'll lock in a little bit of that natural lump charcoal flavor. So let's close the dome. We're gonna mix this cheese a little bit, just so we've got a nice even spread. And let's go ahead and season it while it's on the board here. So again, we're going for 50-50 salt and pepper. Uh, if you got kiddos involved here, maybe just do salt because the, uh, the pepper will sometimes throw them off. But I love it. It's going to be really nice for our intents and purposes. Now we need another block of butter. Where did I put my butter? Always losing my butter. I don't know if you've seen my block of butter, by the way. This thing, <laughs> this is that Amish delicious. Angry. Look at that. That is just, you know, more butter, right? <laughs> more butter. Let's cut off a little chunk. Wrap that back up. Yeah, a little, yeah, little, a little chunk. Yeah, a little, little butter. Open one up. Now here's the key too. You don't just go ahead and throw the uh, uh, cheese on there. You want to flip it over and catch it while it's nice and warm, and that'll start the melting process. But before we do that, we're going to put down our next layer of butter. And if there happens to be a little extra butter left on there, just, just let it happen naturally. It'll be fine. All right, now clumps of cheese on each. Again, about half a cup to a cup. Wow, monster grilled cheeses. Cheesosaurus Rex. If a little cheese gets on the edge, that's okay. It's just gonna crisp up really nice. And while we're at I'm it, kidding. Yeah, 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 yeah. Now we're gonna lay our 
salmon. I smoked salmon right in the middle there. And this stuff is sliced nice and thin. Thin to win. Look at that. Let's close the dome and let the heat from the dome start to warm everything up and melt. And now, we're just hanging out just for a minute. And then we're going to flip it. Do we put a little more butter on there? I, I think we're okay on the butter. I might change my mind when we see it. But right now we're using the benefit of the ceramic dome to give us that radiant heat to start melting the cheese. Push it, put a little positive pressure there. We could use a brick wrapped in foil and make it a, a panini melt grilled cheese. Getting a little crazy here. All right, let's get back into the action. Oh yeah, and just a little flip. Give it a little space. Oh yeah. Now I look at that and I say, needs more butter. I think I got the butter sweats. Yeah. <laughs> Already? Yeah, yeah. So is it a melt? Is it a grilled cheese? We got a lot of cheese on there and we're actually grilling it. You know, I, you could do this inside, but to get outside, to light your grill, to be outside and do a real grilled or griddled uh, cheese, it's just so much more fun than doing it inside. Uh, and we're gonna pick up that secret ingredient of natural lump charcoal. Let's give it one more flip and then get off and get it off and let it rest. Let's go ahead and give it a little slice and see how we did. Oh yeah. This is the stuff that grilled cheese dreams are made of, you know. Um, and just a little simple technique and a lot of butter goes a long way. Uh, but that's just a lot of fun. That, that is gorgeous and I want to bite, I want to bite that one, but I'm going to bite this one. Look at that. Perfectly centered, nice crusty bread salt and pepper in there let's do it there's certain foods that just transport you back to being eight years old and i tell you you know when you're eight years old they tell you not to jump on the coffee table and then you're 30 years old and the world's full of coffee tables and you don't even think to jump jump on the freaking coffee table play with your food have some fun uh, this is one of those transportive experiences, the grilled cheese, it does it for me. So uh, I hope you enjoyed this video, and if you did, hit that notification button, hit the subscribe button, do leave us a comment, we love reading those. And as always, from our backyard to yours, cheers and happy grilling.